Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Oh, my beautiful Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, your weekly horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Sagittarius, which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments. Also, Sagittarius, if you do enjoy this weekly reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step, Sagittarius, to support me in this way. Uh, also, remember Sagittarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. I believe my reading here today is just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, Sagittarius, but never making the decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, and not these tarot cards. So, Let's just get into your weekly reading. I want to see where it is you guys are currently at, how it is you guys are currently feeling right now, Sagittarius. What's going on there for you? Let's see. All right, you guys get two cards actually. You have the Hermit card coming in, Archangel Raziel. Yeah, Archangel Raziel. Now, I always will like to say, whenever an Archangel steps forward, if your practices, your spiritual belief system subscribes to this, if you're open to working with Archangels, Archangel Raziel is open to working with you this week. Uh, also, write down the number 9 for numerology, Sagittarius, because that is your number for this week. Look it up later to see how it correlates with you in this reading. Uh, as well as you guys have the Ace of Air or the Ace of Swords here. So let me read off both of these first. I'll start with the Ace of Air. Sagittarius. Now this card says brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth in a situation and a challenging new beginning. You guys got in this card a bunch, I feel, Sagittarius. Uh, as well, you guys have with the Hermit card, spending quiet time alone, uh, spiritual teaching and self-discovery, as you can imagine. So you guys right now, currently Sagittarius, are just in this place, I feel, of um, really trying to, I want to say some soul searching. Sagittarius, I feel as if right now for y'all, you feel as if you're trying to come up with like your next big idea, your next big plan, uh, really trying to figure out where it is you want to take your next step forward because I am being shown a Sagittarius that's just like walking, um, as random as that sounds. Um, so it does feel as if you're trying to figure out your, where your next step is. Um, I do get this sense of frustration as well, Sagittarius, of um, really trying to figure out your flow, trying to find your flow, where it is your calling is. It does feel as if for some of you Sagittarius, is as if like anything that you dabbled in that you thought was going to be your calling or that you thought was going to uh, really hit, take off on some level, didn't. And so now you feels like you're just going back to the drawing board really Sagittarius now. So let's get some clarifiers on this though, of course. So I'm not continuously speaking out of pocket, right? Let's get some clarifiers. Though, so, I want to say first, Sachi, I've been doing readings all night. So <laughs> if you see me like doing this, it's because I'm trying to refrain from a burp. Anytime I'm speaking a lot, um, <laughs> I start retaining air and then like trying to like not belch in front of y'all. So I want to say though, uh, Saji, you guys are the only ones that uh, got two, two cards at the beginning out of all the fire signs. So let's look at these cards, honey. You guys, all Sagittarius got the inverted. Uh, so Nine of Wands, the Star card, as well as the Knight of Cups. Now keep in mind, Sagittarius, these are all inverted. Right, I'm going to hold them upright just so you can see the messages. So, um, or see the artwork of it, rather. So, yeah, you guys, Sagittarius, have just dealt with a lot of resistances. Um, you've dealt with a lot of resistances, and it feels like, again, like, while you've been walking in your path, while you've been walking in your journey, uh, you've been walking on eggshells almost, or it can feel like you've been walking on eggshells, where it's just like... 
again, it feels like every step that you make, it just ends up cracking something. It ends up breaking something. It ends up bringing more difficulty in your life, right? With the Knight of Cups in the reverse, it just feels as if like everything that you, every time you sink your energy into a project, into something that again, with the star card being in the reverse, that you thought would be your calling, that would be your purpose, it somehow always ends up being some level of a bad investment for you. Uh, Sagittarius it feels so that's why I was getting this sense of uh, frustration from y'all is because that's what's been going on right because the ace of cups is want wanting to come forward to you guys as well it does feel as if you guys have put a lot of your like your all into every project that it is that you do but it just feels like it's to no avail each time Sagittarius it just feels as if like Again, just like the strong frustration of feeling as if you're wasting your time each time because it's just nothing ever sticks is something that I'm hearing. It just feels like everything that you throw at the wall <clears throat> just for some reason falls off. And I just, yeah, I keep on just getting like a sense of a Sagittarius just like very extremely frustrated and like wanting to just like yell and trying to figure out like what it is that you're doing wrong and yeah knight of swords in the reverse you guys are extremely in your head right now sagittarius and the only thing i can really say in this is to um stop right <laughs> i mean what what else can i really do in this kind of situation right sagittarius it does feel as if you guys are beating yourself up extremely bad right and I know for you, Sagittarius, is you guys always have had just like a very high, um, high standard that you'll put yourself to. And I just feel like in this sense here, there's just something that you want so badly. And because you want it so badly, you're taking it hard, harder than like normal. I would even say, Sagittarius, um, when things are not coming to you, you're taking it harder. And, um... I don't know, I just feel like this sense of like, it's very like, you're catching yourself in some spirals, I feel, Sajin. Uh, let's see here, I wanted a little bit more clarification on this. So we have the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Swords in the reverse, the Magician card in the reverse, as well as the Hanged Man. So yeah, you're just dealing with a bunch of resistances. You're trying to just, again, find what resonates with you, trying to figure out your calling, what will actually fulfill you uh Sagittarius um but here's the thing with this eight of swords being in the reverse with this magician card um you are just feeling extremely stuck but you feel like you are the reason why you're stuck you're blaming yourself it's almost as if Sagittarius you're telling yourself like uh some silly narratives where it's just like oh if I just was more talented or if I just I don't know I just get this very strong sense you're being really critical of yourself and it bums me out Sagittarius, it just feels like you're each day that goes by, you just speak more harm to yourself than good, right? It just feels like you're not seeing yourself clearly and you're just internalizing a lot, right? With this hanged man here, it does feel like, yeah, I just feel like you're slowly losing faith in yourself or just doubting yourself, right? It just feel it does feel like the relationship that you have with yourself is somehow or in some way lacking or suffering. And I know that's a weird message to be having, but it's just my impression, uh, Sagittarius. So hmm. let me know what that's about. <sighs> Let's get an animal oracle card though for this, Sagittarius, before we move on. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what advice we can get from the animal spirit. Let's see here. Just like with your other way, you guys get two animal cards. No one else to got this. Sagittarius, and you're really getting that special treatment, honey. Uh, so we have the manatee card. Accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. And then the cardinal card. Uh, the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and your physical pleasures. Pleasures are out of balance, so do whatever it is that's necessary to bring them back into equilibrium, the cardinal card. Um, random message, but I do feel as if you guys recently, Sagittarius, have been getting like very subtle signs uh, through Avery, I will say, uh, of whether it's like your guide. I feel like birds or Avery in general feathers have been uh, some sort of like 
uh, has been bringing some sort of comfort to you right now. Something I'm getting um, very much so, especially if you associate someone that's passed on recently. If you've been having thoughts of someone that's in like a past. And I feel like this it's more so speaking because here's, here's the thing, Sagittarius. I always am very realistic in my readings, right? Or I try to be. Um, we, especially for a lot of us, if we have a past loved one, um, and they'll, you know, we'll always have like those crossing thoughts, right? But I feel like this is very much so someone that's recently, just really recently lost somebody, Sagittarius. And I feel like, uh, hmm. I want to say in like the last two months, you guys have lost somebody. For very specific, it's random how this is coming in. Um, I feel like just some signs are being dropped subtly. Whether it's through Avery, I feel like it's through Avery. Um, but or not like I feel like there's some type of sign letting you know that they're around on some level right or at least I feel like you're just thinking of them a lot and maybe that's like part of your um part of what's been slowing you down a little bit but uh let's see how this situation pans out for you this week uh Sagittarius the moon card already kind came flying out for you so uh, the moon card, Archangel Haniel. You guys also, I want to just note Sagittarius, are the only ones out of the fire signs that had a Archangel, or rather an Archangel, correcting my grammar, uh, step forward for you. So, uh, you guys had two, so I want to celebrate you for that. And also, can we just take note, 18 in old school numerology, you combine the numbers until one singular digit or unless they're a master number like 11 or 22 i believe um so 18 equaling to nine remember what i said before nine being your number sagittarius this is not a coincidence honey it's not a coincidence come on now if i feel like a lot of the times like when i tell people to write down the numbers they don't actually do it so please do it sagittarius let me know I mean, a pop i think i even told you before there was a pop quiz <laughs> for it uh, that you guys would have so same deal same ordeal archangel haniel if you're open to working with archangels uh sagittarius but this card also says important psychic insights events behind the scenes releasing the fears that are holding you back currently so what is it that you're intimidated by right now sagittarius what's going on there i actually want to whip out my newest deck for you what is going on for you guys sagittarius <clears throat> what is with this moon card? All right, let's see here. Oh, the card's coming out. Four cards. All right. So, the clarifiers we have for this moon card, what is being revealed? We have the Emperor card, the Nine of Wands, the Justice card, the Libra card, and then the Strength card in the reverse, the Leo card. Um, hmm. So, Sagittarius, Nine of Wands coming in here, this Emperor card, it does feel like you're finally um, working through something that you guys have been holding back on for a while, Sagittarius. So I'm going to just use an example. You know, maybe you've kept your eye on somebody that you haven't been speaking to for a while. I mean, this is very much a very specific storyline of like, you know, maybe there's someone that you wanted to reach out to, someone you wanted to communicate with, um, being shown the Six of Cups, so maybe someone from your past uh, that you've wanted to communicate with. And for some reason, nothing's happened with it, right? You know, maybe because, you know, for, again, whatever reason, and that's what it is that you've been feeling like you've been walking on eggshells with. And so I see with this Nine of Wands and this Emperor card, feels like a little bit more of assertive energy, Sagittarius. It feels like I see forward motion in regards to something uh, coming up for you. Remembering, because this is attached to your moon card, Sagittarius, I see this as something that uh, by you choosing to stay the course with something and just matching your own energy, really not suppressing it anymore. With this justice card and the strength card, I feel like by you finally just like working through this, you know, I always say the strength card is like my card to shadow work, uh, Sagittarius. So I feel as if if you no longer are resistant um, towards really uh, challenging yourself on like very, I hope I don't offend some of y'all, but like maybe like your own ego, Sagittarius. Maybe some of you guys 
uh, need to work on your vulnerability a little bit more, right? So maybe if you were choosing to be vulnerable in some type of way, you'd be shocked by the result that comes forward, right? Um, I do feel as if you're going to be getting a sign or there's some type of sign that you receive, Sagittarius, that have, that inspires you to just like push forward. I feel like something like inspires you to be like, you know what, let me pursue this person. Let me interact with this person. Let me engage with this, you know, page of cups coming in here. Come, in, come on now, Sagittarius. There's really something that like spurs you to really uh, reach out to somebody or reach out for an opportunity, right? It feels like you're shooting your shot with something, Sagittarius. And it just feels like you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the shot that you shoot um, if you actually were to commit to doing that. So now, Sagittarius, let's get into your financial and uh, career situation for this week. Let's see what's in the works for that right now. All right, let's see what's going on here. What is going on for my Sagittarius's financial and career this week? <sighs> two of air or the two of swords Sagittarius so this card says being unable or unwilling to make a decision a stalemate and pretending there isn't a problem right now so you're juggling you're at a crossroads rather not juggling I mean perhaps you're juggling uh, with the idea of something but I do feel as if you're just at a crossroads right now Sagittarius as I was saying before it feels like you guys are at like the um, drawing board and really trying to figure out your next move um so the clarifiers we have the sun card the six of pentacles the in the reverse king of wands in the reverse as well as the ten of wands for you all the fire signs got ten of wands coming in for them a lot of all the fire signs dealing with baggage honey so two of air this crossroads that you're at you're feeling extremely disempowered right six of pentacles i don't feel as if you are <sighs> It just feels like you have your plate full. Well, I don't want to say you have your plate full, Sagittarius. It just feels like you just have lost faith and like a little bit, maybe became a little bit cynical. Um, and like how, in, in the way of like career and stuff. Because it does feel as if like, that you would even feel, Sagittarius, that you feel as if like your talent isn't being acknowledged or like your capabilities aren't being acknowledged and it's gotten to the point where maybe you're starting to get in your head and being like is there something that I'm doing wrong right uh ten of wands comes in baggage card here yeah I just I feel like you're just not <sighs> let's see two of pentacles yeah you're definitely like weighing things out uh Sagittarius I really feel as if uh, especially with the sun card you're just wanting to hmm, you're just ready to hear some good news and i feel like at this point uh sagittarius you don't really want to hear about just staying the course with something anymore you're ready to just be told what it is that you need to do so you can start uh experiencing some abundance right it feels like that's just desperately what it is you're searching for um, so I'm sorry <laughs> that I can't really provide that answer, uh, Sagittarius, right? Well, let's see here. Let's do one more card pull for this. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Sagittarius, I really do feel as if, like, y'all need to do some soul searching. I can't, like, you know, it's impossible for me to tell you in tarot how you should handle a situation if you don't even know what it is you want to do, right? Because I feel like that's part of, like, the... Uh, going to be the hardest part for you. So now let's get into your social and romantic situations for this week, uh, Sagittarius. So we have the Ace of Wands or the Ace of Fire. All right, now this is really going back to what I was saying before in your other cards, Sagittarius, where you, f I feel like you, there's something you've had your eye on, and Ace of Fire or Ace of Wands is someone that takes action on it and really starts engaging on some energy, on an opportunity, right? Because this card says an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, and changing your life now, right? So let's get some clarifying cards for this, Sagittarius. See what it is that you're trying to engage energy into. So we have the Knight of Swords coming in here in the reverse, the Fool card, and the Judgment card. Uh, huh. Interesting. So Sagittarius, I see you kind of just like letting go and letting God, getting out of your head, 
uh, with some with a social situation in your life and just being like, you know what, let me just reach out to this person. Let me just communicate, right? Three of Swords is trying to come out here. So I do feel like there is some type of, it's not so easy for you, I feel as if to communicate with this person because there's some type of pain involved, right? Even if it's just on your side of things, Sagittarius, and there's like a little bit of pain that you have to just still like internally work through. Um, and that's kind of what makes it hard for you to communicate with this person. Um, I do see action being taken, uh, Sagittarius. It, like all your cards are really highlighting the sense of you taking like the active leadership role and really being like, you know what, like I really want to engage with this person. I really want to work with this person. I really want to do something, right? Judgment call, you know, the judgment card comes in as like making the judgment call and taking action on something, even if like you're not feeling extremely confident on it, or rather like even if you feel like you're, it's out of your league, right? Even it's one of those things that like you still take action on it, even if you are like shaking in your boots with intimidation and fear. Sagittarius. So let me know what that's about, though. But uh, yeah, Sagittarius, those are the tarot cards that I have for you for this weekly horoscope reading. I hope you found some cards that resonate with you. Um, if you did, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Sagittarius. As well, remember, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Sagittarius. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them as well. Till next time, Sagittarius, I love you so much. Bye.